Okay, here we go again. This is uh, part two of the singles. Actually, I meant to. Yeah, actually, I meant to cut it off like it around the To Hell with the Devil era singles, but I ended up, you know, running my mouth for the camera like I always do. And but uh, we're gonna go to the latter part of uh, Striper's career when you know cassettes were still on the market. Um, this, uh, you know, their album Against the Law just came out. Shining Star is a pretty, um, I mean, I liked it at the time just because, wow, it's Striper. And, uh, the main difference between this, this, uh, single version of Shining Star and, uh, the Shining Star track that you hear on the full-length album of, you know, Against the Law, this one, like, it has horns in it, like a couple parts has like, like a big brass section, like, like on the, on the main album and video version, it go, but in this one it's like, and then you hear like, you know, a, a big horn section here and, and then another big burst of, of brass instruments there. And, I, and, you know, obviously, you know, it was remixed and, and edited, you know, for the radio to make it more accessible. I don't know what it is about, you know, these execs. Even to this day, they think, you know, if you lift the guitars out of there, puts in, you know, put saxophone in there like it's R&B or, bra or brass instrument, it's going to make it more accessible. And, you know, in, in, in a lot, it works sometimes like ska, but... In hard rock, it just tended to alienate the fans. But again, you know, it was Striper. I had to have it. And of course, you know, this was the time when people were saying that, you know, Striper was not a Christian band anymore, and and they went secular, and and the songs aren't, you know, talking about faith like they should be. And of course, Shining Star was a Earth, Wind, and Fire cover. I didn't really find it offensive. And and. Uh, yeah, side two is Rock the Hell Out of You. Real, I love that song. Actually, the last three, it was the last song on the Against the Law. You know, real real heavy song. I actually like that one. Really good. I, I loved Against the Law when it came out. In fact, I, I still love that album. I mean, I don't care what the critics say or, you know, the uh, people were, you know, nothing you do is ever Christian enough. I mean, this is a this was a great a great era, at least artistically and musically. I think you know that was the best one of 1990, and of course I'm biased because I'm a Striper fan. This one came out during the. Uh, this is pretty rare. It came out during the uh, Can't Stop the Rock period. In fact, I bought it from Michael Sweet himself when he went solo. Yeah, I bought quite, but uh. I got it for like I believe five dollars to support his ministry. Um, can't stop the rock. You know that was the title track, which the the lyrics at the time were new, but the music was actually written in '82. I believe it was a power ballad about you know Desert Storm was really happening at the time, so uh, it was a tribute to the troops and and that big sense of unity and patriotism that was going on in the country and. Uh, Years later, my silly self uh, signed some papers, and I was in the second Gulf War. But, uh, I mean, it was, it was a pretty positive time. Of course, you know, they were getting their, back to their senses. And and uh, the first part, like, side one is uh, Can't Stop the Rock. And then it goes to an interview, because, you know, back in the late 80s and, and early to mid-90s, there was a Christian you know, v music video program called uh, Real Videos, R-E-A-L, Real Videos. What is it? Yeah, like real, but with real as in to be real. A really good interview. I mean, they, they really, you know, spoke well for themselves. I mean, things that, you know, that really stood out in my mind that he said, you know, people tend to put us up on pedestals or try to knock us down. We're, we're angels or devils. We're neither. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, they reaffirmed their faith. You know, their faith. They were back on track. And, uh, and yeah, this is a real gem in my library. Um who knows, but, uh, yeah, the interview was really worthwhile. 
and of course, you know, I was at this time, you know, my peers at the time, they were making fun of me because come on, Striper's old hat. How can you still, you know, be a fan? I was made fun of because, you know, I wanted to get, I, you know, can't stop the rock. Because, you know, that was my band. They're still, you know, my favorite band. I mean, you can laugh all you want, but, you know, no other band has rocked my world the way Striper did, as I've said over and over again. And, um... Yeah, real special gem. And these were sent mainly to radio stations and promoters. And, um, and again, you know, real good gem. Hey, thanks again for watching Joe's Record Store, the Striper Edition, Christian Rock and Metal. Stay metal and stay away from lame music. Peace out.